A very good morning to you all and welcome back to my channel, Dr. Weapons Biotech and Bioinformatics Classroom. So in the last lecture, we discussed about ways and methods of reading and writing files into R. This is lecture number R15. File handling in R, how to read a file and write into a file in R. And we had discussed several methods of reading and writing into R, for example, write.csv method or write.table method. Uh, there is one more method by which you can write your data into a file, and that method is known as the sync method. And uh, we are going to discuss the sync method today. And I very strongly recommend that you go through this lecture, R15, file handling in R, how to read a file and write into a file in R before you start uh, reading about sync. So first, what we'll do is we'll write a normal program, and then we'll add the sync line so as to ensure that the output goes to the file. We begin with setting up a working directory. So this is by the setwd command. And in the setwd command, we can give the folder path to the point where you want to create a file. For example, here I say setwd and in round brackets uh, and in double quotes, I start with my first, the partition. This is F partition in my laptop. And then I write the folder name in which I'm going to create my file for writing the uh, for writing the results when I use the sync command. So we create a simple vector, vector one, which is equivalent to combine and in round brackets, we give the values one, two, three, four, five. So let's run this part also. And we have the vector now, which has the values of one, two, three, four, and five. And to keep it simple, we calculate uh, basic statistics for this vector. These include uh, the sum of the vector, the mean of the values in the vector, and then of course, uh, the summary statistics of the vector directly using the summary function. First, we print the vector itself. So this is a vector one. Then we print the sum of vectors here. Then we print the average values in vector one, and you know that's a simple, you say cat, and then in double quoted strings, you give whatever message you want to give for display. So we say average of the vector is, and then uh, we close the string and use a comma, and then define the actual statistic that you want to calculate. Here, for example, we're calculating mean in vector one, and then we give a slash into end the line and you run this part again and you can see the output is coming on the terminal itself and then finally you calculate the summary statistic for the vector using the summary function directly and you get your summary on the on the console itself right so here you are this is our uh, final output for the program now you want to direct this output into the file so one way of doing that is using the sync function so sync has to be declared before you start to print statements so i'll declare my sync here this is my sync function i say sync and in round brackets file is equal to results.txt so this is the file where my uh, print statements or cat statements would be directly diverted and written onto the file and i say append equals to false because i'm directly writing into a new file and not opening a previous file for writing you could also say append equals to true if you're writing into a previously written file. Once you're done with all the print or cat statements, you need to close the sync command. So you say sync with no arguments. So this is where, this is the point where the sync would close. If you want to see your file directly here, you can use the file.show command and your file will pop up. So let me just repeat one more time. You start your sync function from, from the point where you want to direct the console output directly to the file and the way you use the sync function is to say sync then in round brackets file equals to results.txt the name of the file and double quotes comma and whether you want to append equals to true or false is your choice and you close your sync function uh, after the last cat or print statement usually but if you want to direct only part output to the file and part output on the screen you, you could close the sync function a little earlier so let's see how this works out. This is how it would work when, when you do not give your sync function. Your commands and your output to the command will be directly on the console. But when you use your sync function, so let me just activate the sync function. So here we are. Now I've activated the sync function. Then of course I redo the statement. So I say cat, the vector is vector one slash in, and here you are. The output is directly being directed to the file and not shown on the console anymore. 
Likewise, the next statement where I'm printing the sum of vectors, when you run this, you see the command here, but you do not see the output on the console. Next one, we calculate the average for the vector. So you run this again, you see the command, but you do not see the output on the console because the output is not directly being, not being uh, directed to the file, right? And then you calculate the summary function as well. Then, of course, you print the summary function onto the file because you're still using the sync command. And now I come out of the sync. So when I say run this, now my sync function is closed. If I were to print something now from here, you would still get the output on the uh, console again. So let me just show you that. So here you are. And now I say, so now I say print, welcome to Dr. Wilkins Biotech and Bioinformatics classroom. So when you run this now, you would still be able to see it now on the console itself because we have closed the sync before printing the statement. So the sync statement has to be closed uh, at the point where you want no more output directed to the file. And we could still see our file again. So for seeing the file, I use the file.show command. And when you run this now, you'll be able to see what all values have gone into your file. So you run this here and here you are. So this is how uh, very comfortably you can redirect your output from console to a file. So this is by using the sync command, right? So I hope you have followed and we'll close here. But before closing, let me give you some statistics of the, how the channel is doing. So the channel is doing extremely well. So we now have additional playlists and these include tools and techniques and, and biotechnology. Then we have programming it within. Then we have Linux command line, introductory informatics. R for data analytics, which you're anyways following. Getting started with Python is something that I'm developing now. There are already three videos here and I intend to continue it further. Then of course you have the recommended data technology track that is again containing some 18 videos on, on genetic engineering. And uh, the channel has been performing relatively uh, very well now. You can see this Sunday we have had 201 hits a total of 358 hits in the last 48 hours. And we are approaching a total of 20K views. So thank you very much for your support and let's grow together. Thank you very much.